The Myers-Briggs personality types ranked by clumsiness. Which of the 16 personalities is the most clumsy? Clumsiness is your tendency to make mistakes, to mess up, to say the wrong thing sometimes, or to underdeliver. Yeah, ENFJs tend to be people that promise the sunshine and the skies to everyone they meet, but a lot of the time they fall short. Yeah, the truth is, while they are very optimistic and while they're great at getting forward and getting momentum on a project, ENFJs do mess up quite a bit. This can be a result of their weak introverted thinking, making sure that they don't always see or notice mistakes or problems before they happen. And so ENFJs often can balance out quite well together with INTPs, people that can spot and keep them down to earth and people that can help them notice when they are getting a little bit too passionate about something and lose the ability to see things clearly. ESFJs. ESFJs tend to also be quite clumsy. Beyond their social and charismatic personality type, they actually mess up quite a lot and they tend to make a lot of jokes about this. Yeah, this is a natural part of this personality type. They speak quickly and they have a lot of passion, but yeah, they also say silly things. Because they're so passionate and because they're so nice and so sociable, they don't really care about the fact that they make mistakes. They just roll with the punches and it becomes a natural part of their self-deprecatory humor. Okay, yeah, once again I messed up, but that's what you like about me, right? I'm a good friend, I'm nice, I work hard, I push myself, but yeah, I slip up and I joke about it. And that's a charming and human thing that I do that you can find quite relatable about me. Third place goes to the ENFP personnel type. Perhaps you thought ENFP should be first, but even if ENFPs do make a lot of mistakes, and even if they're known to be a bit reckless and chaotic and messy and disorganized, sorry ENFPs, ENFPs tend to be a little bit better at anticipating what's next and what could go wrong and what could happen. And this does allow them to sometimes steer themselves out of trouble. And even if they do make mistakes, ENFPs are a little bit better at self-correcting. But that's not to say that they're not clumsy. Yeah, third place, well-deserved. Together with fourth place for the ESFP personality type. ESFPs are fourth place in terms of clumsiness. Why are they clumsy? Well, of course, because they are, like all the extroverted and feeling types, quite hot-headed. Yeah, being extroverted and being strong in feeling makes you a little bit more passionate, optimistic, and agreeable. And yeah, often you tend to just say yes to things. You tend to go along with things. You tend to be harmonious and diplomatic, and you tend to work with your environment. You collaborate with others, you work with everyone, and sometimes you say yes to things that are, or perhaps should not have been said yes to. Because you can lack a critical thinking filter, a lot of the time ESFPs will just agree with things, even if they're incorrect. And this can let you sometimes fall off a cliff. Yeah, if you say yes to everything, there's a big chance that sometimes you're gonna Say yes to things that you should not have said yes to. ENTJs. While ENTJs are known to get it done, effectiveness has a price, and ENTJs are known for their extroverted thinking and their ability to get results. But beyond that, ambition is often a lot of failures. Yeah, failures are a part of the ENTJ's path to success. It's how they became successful in the first place. Most entrepreneurs have a couple of failed businesses behind them, and that's just how they came to learn. They don't really care about this fact. The most important thing to them is that they get where they need to be in the end. Effectiveness is about getting from 0 to 100 questions to get as many questions answered as possible, even if you got some of them wrong. Efficiency is to get all questions correct. And this might sometimes make you miss out on progress. ENTJs care more about getting results even if there's issues. INTPs and ISTPs care more about making sure that things got there correctly, even if that meant that sometimes they got a bit lazy or failed to make progress. ESTJs are people that emphasize order and control, and because of that structure, they're at least a little bit more grounded than the ENTJs, or what's worse, ENFJs, right? ESTJs are people that also want to be productive. They want to deliver high results. They want to impress others. They want to show off what they can do and what they're capable of. 
And yeah, sometimes they do slip up, but often they try to push that away and let, let's not think about it. Let's focus on the results. Let's focus on the things that we did get done. And let's focus on the things that worked, right? That's the most important thing, right? ENTPs are innovative and explorative, and they also mess up quite a lot, of course. They are extroverted personality types, meaning that they like experimentation, they like to think, but here's the thing, they like to think a lot, right? So ENTPs are still people that do spend a lot of time trying to maintain perfection. Because of their thinking preference and perceiving preference, they want to be good at what they do. They want to be really good at what they do, and that means they want to be skilled, and that's requires a degree of perfectionism. You have to actually think about how to improve, how to get better results, how to make less mistakes, and that tendency to want to engage in self-improvement is what makes ENTPs so successful. They want to constantly work on themselves to improve their skills, and that means make less mistakes. They do make mistakes, yes, but they are constantly learning from them, revising and improving their personality to make and get there better and faster than they did last time. ESTPs. ESTPs can be said to be quite action-oriented, seeking for immediate results. And yeah, ESTPs are known to be a bit cut and dry. Sometimes they'll use the blunt hammer if necessary. But on the whole, ESTPs are not to be described as people that make mistakes for the sake of it. No. ESTPs do think carefully about what they do, they tend to be down to earth, they tend to look at what other people do, and they tend to learn from their surroundings. They are adaptable people that self-correct as they go, and they, because they are attentive and present and attentive to detail and things that happen around them, they do constantly improve and scan their world to make sure that they're progressing and that things are going right. Ninth place can be said to go to the INFJ personality type. INFJs are people that yeah, are known to overthink things. They tend to plan a lot, they tend to be perfectionistic, they tend to be bold, they tend to have a high vision, but they're also known to be the most extroverted or outgoing of all the 16, well, all the eight introverted personality types. And because of that, INFJs with their extroverted feeling quite high, like the ENFJ, can sometimes overpromise, and because they have high visions and high expectations, they can get a little bit over-optimistic about things at times. And here, INFJs are known to sometimes push boundaries and sometimes overwhelm themselves. But INFJs also have, thankfully, another side to them, which is a bit more critical and a bit more analytical. And because they fall back on this, when they're in a good spirit, they actually tend to be quite outgoing and quite impulsive. But when they're in a bad spirit, they tend to switch to a more critical side. And this is what they do when they lick their wounds or try to repair or improve after they made a mistake. ISFJs can be said to have the 10th place. ISFJs are people that generally can be trusted, they're dependable, they're careful, and they make sure that they take care of themselves and other people. And that means no big mistakes, no bold things, no craziness. But still, ISFJs, with their feeling preference and their judging preference, can be said to be people that for the yoke of it or for the silliness of it can allow themselves to have fun with things and let go. Yeah, ISFJs are pretty good at relaxing the facade when dealing with people to connect with others. And because they want to connect with others, that means they also have to show their human side and be human with others. 11th place goes to the INFP personality type. INFPs are on the whole quite careful and cautious with what they say and what they do. This lends to the laziness of the personnel type, and INFPs can be said to sometimes overthink things or remain in inaction. INFPs often idealize how something should be, or how something should feel, or what to do and when to do it, and they want it to feel absolutely right. And because of this, they tend to avoid jumping into scary or dangerous situations. Their averseness to risk tends to make them a little bit careful, but thankfully, INFPs still have extroverted intuition up there, right? And thanks to extroverted intuition and thanks to so their feeling preference, if it's in their personality or if it's according to their values or if they feel it's the right thing to do, they will put themselves out there and mess up, even if that means messing up on stage or delivering something that's imperfect because they feel that's who they are and that's the right thing to do in this situation, right? ISFPs can also be said to be people that are quite adverse to make to be clumsy. ISFPs do 
mind how they do things, and their high attention to detail allows them to usually spot mistakes and to make sure that things are done the right way. And their attention to this can be seen in their aesthetic sense, their artistic skills, and their musical skills, or in their anything that they do, really, because they have a strong feeling with their body, they know if something's out of tune or out of shape or in the wrong way, and how to correct it. 13th place goes to the INTJ personality type. No, INTJs don't make a lot of mistakes. They are quite well collected. They rarely say anything offensive or out of turn. They think before they speak or before they do things. And they're generally careful with how they proceed in their goals and ambitions. They plan for a long time before they take action. And they make sure that they have a solid strategy. That said, their strategy can allow for some mistakes and some issues, but that's all part of their plan. At least that's what they tell themselves. ISTJs have a more methodical approach to things and more step-by-step -step process, which allows them to spot issues. INTJs might not have seen these issues. They were focused on the bigger picture and they had a long and big plan, but they didn't plan for every detail and every single step along the way. This can allow them to sometimes miscalculate things but ISTJs don't make that mistake. 15th place goes to the INTP personnel type. Even more cautious, even more careful, the INTP is the king of avoiding mistakes. Or rather, they're the prince of it. First place goes to the ISTP personality type. ISTPs with their high introverted thinking tend to measure everything that they do and their high skill set they're usually talented in everything that they do and they know how to do things exactly the correct way when they do it. However, they don't do a lot. ISTPs are careful not to jump into a situation or say yes to a challenge or take on a project unless they're absolutely certain that they can do it. ISTPs are known to be a bit careful or apathetic to things. Unless they are really motivated, most ISTPs will avoid a situation. But if an ISTP says or does something, you can count on the fact that they practiced, rehearsed, and planned for the situation to make sure that they would do it exactly right. So that's my ranking for the 16 personalities from most to least lazy. Did you agree with what I said? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this.